Hey guys, Andy Tran here with Inner Bark Outdoors. Today I wanted to do a really quick video on how to leg roll cordage. This specific technique was taught to me by Tamara Wilder a while back at the Rabbit Stick Gathering. What I thought was really cool about this technique is that it makes it very easy to manage long lengths of cord as you're making it because it doesn't get all twisted up and tangled. So today I'm going to be using cedar bark, but this can be done with any sort of natural or man-made fibers. Check it out. In the first part of this video, I'm going to be processing cedar bark. The process can be transitioned into a lot of different natural materials. The first part of the process is to remove the outer bark. The outer bark is brittle and has no tensile strength. The inner bark, however, is extremely strong, especially after we process it. The more you can separate the inner and the outer parts of the bark, the better your cordage will be. To remove the outer bark, we use its brittle nature against it. By bending the bark and sliding it through your fingers, they start to separate. To keep most of the fibers, you have to work it from both ends. Otherwise, if you keep on pulling, you might end up tearing the whole thing in half. Kind of like pulling on a hangnail. Once the inner and the outer bark have been separated, it's time to break up the actual fibers. This will make the cordage strong and easier to work with. To break up the fibers, I use two smooth sticks. This is a quick way to start breaking down the fibers and will give you a very nice consistency. You can start to tell that the fibers are getting really fine. I first start with a single strand, and the strand is staggered so that one end is much longer than the other. I'll show you why in a bit. Start to twist the strand at the point you want to start. The tighter the twist gets, the tighter it wants to wind around itself. This is the essence of making cordage. The best way to grab this is with both strands going at about 90 degrees from each other and pinching it at the Y. Rolling the cordage on bare skin works the best, but since I'm not getting paid to show you extra leg, I'm going to roll onto my pants. For this to work, you actually need to wet down your pants so that you have some grip, otherwise it's much too slippery. From your fingertips, roll all the way to the heel of your hand. Let the two strands slide and position it so that they're parallel to each other. You roll back your palm and it twists upon itself. I typically do two hand passes before I let it twist onto itself. When you start to run out of length on your strands, it's time to do an elbow splice. The same way that we staggered the lengths of the strands on either side, we'll also do the same thing for the elbow splice. Matching up the short end with the long end, and the long end with the short end. Placing the strand right at the Y, you'll start to roll the cordage just like you would normally. And before you know it, it's fully integrated into the length of your cordage. Going through your cordage, any little bits can be cut off. However, if there are any longer loose ends, these can be twisted and tucked into the cordage itself. Cool. 
So that is how you leg roll cordage. If you guys have any comments or questions, please message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page and other social media. It really helps me know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye. The tree straps are put at head height, and the top line is somewhat taut so that it has a perfect angle and the correct height. If you set your hammock too low, you're going to be dragging on the ground. And if it's too high, it's going to be difficult to get into.